Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com, and we are here today on the campus of Baldwin-Wallace University, and we're here today with the assistant director of the Music Conservatory here, Brian Bowser. Brian, thanks so much for taking a few moments and talking with us. Glad to have you out on campus, Thomas. This is a beautiful new conservatory that you guys have recently renovated. Talk about what you guys did here. Sure. Well, it's been a long time coming, but we're so excited. We've doubled our square footage of the conservatory. Um, we've added this beautiful church facility that's behind us, a historic church here on campus. Um, and then we've linked that to our existing conservatory facilities and um, really created a beautiful home for the conservatory, one that is useful and also very conducive to learning. We had some major challenges, of course, before in a building that had been long antiquated with sound that bled from one space to another. And now our new spaces are sound ice isolated. They're beautiful to be in, comfortable as far as uh, humidity control and those things go. Um, and so we're just really enjoying this gorgeous new facility that's a, a much stronger place for our students to learn. It's, it's really state of the art, isn't it here? I mean, the, the facility, it, it was a way that before you had everything here, but it wasn't as integrated. And now you go inside here and it's connected to all these spaces. Yeah, you look from the outside and you see these spaces that are sort of look different, right? And you come inside and really our, our architecture firm, Weber Murphy Fox, did a beautiful job of melding and molding these spaces together. Once you're inside, you hardly know as you transition from one part of the building to another. And we've also created a lot of lovely spaces for people to gather. Before, it was lots of little tiny hallways with not very much good space. And now folks, uh, students and faculty and community members gather in these beautiful public spaces that give them a chance to interact interactions that may not have happened before are now happening um, in the conservatory. It's a really lively place. Let's go in and have a look. Great. So Brian, we're right inside the building now. Where are we here? This is the Bozell Musical Arts Center lobby. Um, we had some great uh, BW alums and donors that helped us to make this project happen. Um, and this is sort of the nexus of the Conservatory of Music. And we wanted folks, as they entered our facility, to immediately be in the music making that happens at the Conservatory of Music at BW. Um, we have practice rooms right off this lobby space. As you can see, lots of great gathering spaces where students and faculty and folks gather to, to chat and to plan. Um, and then right down the hallway are our beautiful new teaching studios, 50 beautiful sound isolated practice rooms and some great new performance and rehearsal spaces. Let's go look at some of those spaces. Very good. Hey Brian, we are now in what was used to be the sanctuary of the church. Yes, uh, this beautiful sanctuary used to be the sanctuary of First Congregational United Church of Christ in Berea, who we purchased the facility from, and it's now become this beautiful, flexible space for us. You see the acoustic banners that are going up and down. We use those uh, to adjust acoustics so we can have a full orchestra in here and not make anyone deaf, but also put them all the way up and make it a beautifully, um, acoustically perfect space for a solo guitar or a solo voice recital up on the stage. Um, it's really a flexible, wonderful space, um, again, flexible we can seat up to 250 people in here for a recital or have a rehearsal of a 100-piece orchestra uh, all in this space. And it's used by conservatory students, by our community members. All kinds of folks are in and out of here throughout the week. One of the most used spaces in the conservatory. And you've got an opera program rehearsing in here now? We do, yes. Dean Williamson, a great guest uh, conductor that works with us often, is here from Seattle, um, working with some of our opera students here in a workshop class. Great. Let's have a look around some more. Great. So we're in another part of the church here. This is the Vocal Music Hall? Yes, this is the Cato Family Vocal Music Hall. A great alum of BW, Arlene Cato, helped us to make this space, carve it out of some of the former church facility. This is a space used for music theater workshop classes, choral rehearsals, um, all kinds of great things happen in here. Again, um, this two-story space has some acoustic uh, abilities with the curtains that you see can be moved around. There's mirrors behind the curtains over on this side so that workshops and dance and movement can happen. So again, another great flex space that lots of conservatory students spend lots of time in. This is great. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> uh, on to the percussion rehearsal hall, a very neat space. Let's have a look. Okay, Brian, this is really cool. This is like the percussion rehearsal hall. Yes, what a gorgeous space, right? They came from a basement, little one tiny, uh, one story tiny space in our old facility into this gorgeous space, uh, acoustically treated again. Percussion, one of the hardest things to keep contained. But this was actually a separate building that the church owned that we now use for percussion rehearsal. It's completely acoustically separated from the rest facility, and you can see that it's just a gorgeous space using some of the original architecture and brick um, to make a space that's great for our percussion students to learn, percussion ensemble, um, and 
and private lessons happen in here, as well as lots of community uh, groups that are here through the Conservatory Outreach Department as well. Brian, this is fascinating. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time and showing us around. My pleasure. We'd love to have folks come out and take a look for themselves at all of our free concerts, events. Of course, we have lots of programs for the community to participate at uh, Baldwin Wallace as well. We'd love to see you on campus. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.